uh, good day viewers. I hope you are all doing well wherever you are watching this video from. Okay, so as you can see, you are still looking on the earth geometry, and I believe this is lesson five. Okay, this is lesson five, and under lesson five, we are going to look at time calculation. Okay. We are going to look at time calculation. So before we we start uh, looking at how we can calculate time, which is lying on different um, time zones, we have to understand certain concepts. Okay, we have to understand something. So you uh, must know that we must know that the Earth the Earth rotates. A saying the earth makes a complete the earth makes a complete rotation at an angle of 360 degrees okay that is that is from west to east in how many hours in 24 hours okay so it's very important that you understand these concepts okay the Earth makes a complete rotation at an angle of 360 degrees. Okay, that is from west to west. In how many hours? 24 hours. Okay, in 24 hours. Therefore, we are saying, therefore, therefore, it rotates, therefore, it rotates 15 degrees. In how many hours? In one hour. Okay. So I'm saying, what about in one hour? What about in one hour? Um, at how many degrees does the earth rotate? So this is simple. Since we have said, uh, in 24 hours, the earth rotates at an angle of what? 360 degrees. Okay. 360 degrees. Now, what about in one hour so here we just what uh divide with 24 hours okay we just divide with it that's why we're coming up with it certain values now understand something here we have said one hour or in one hour the earth rotates at how many degrees 15 degrees you must understand this simple idea okay you must understand this in one hour the earth rotates as 15 what degrees okay so when it comes to time calculation we have what we call the greenwich meridian okay greenwich meridian or you can say gmt okay so the greenwich meridian we are talking of the longitudes okay these are normally used when it comes to time what calculation okay so here we are saying longitudes longitudes are used in time calculation okay longitudes are used in time calculation okay so we know that uh we have different time zones okay so each country they do use their own time what time zone so having said that it means that we have time differences okay for example here in zambia and we talk of somewhere else we find that maybe zambia is ahead with it, two hours okay that's what we are talking about so i say the gmt the greenwich meridian is used to calculate what time okay why? Because we are saying when the earth uh, is rotating, it's rotating from west to east. Okay? We understand that 
there is time difference that is being crea created. So how can you calculate that time, that time difference? That time difference will be calculated upon the Greenwich Meridian of which the certain place is located. Okay, this is what we are talking about. Yes, so um, I've explained this. I've said um, the world is divided into time zones, okay, which are determined from the universal timeline at the Greenwich Meridian. So the universal time is called the, the Greenwich, or uh, the Greenwich Mean Time, okay, which is represented by initials GMT. Okay, now what does it mean? Okay, uh, remember what I said the Earth is rotating okay the earth is rotating okay the earth is rotating i've just drawn this so this is west uh then here we say we have got east okay so to say so now we are saying this is the greenwich meridian okay the g m T. So I are saying when the earth is rotating, remember it's rotating from west going to what? To east. So when it's doing this, you find that time difference is being created, okay? According to the position of the particular what? Point. Time difference is being created. So we are using now this Greenwich Meridian, okay? To calculate what? Time. That's why I said we are normally using the longitudes. We are using the longitudes we are using the longitudes to calculate what time okay so what does it mean it means that for every 15 degrees okay for every 15 degrees moving from um or for every 15 degrees moving toward east in this case okay the earth is ro rotating for every 15 degrees that is in one hour Rotating toward east, we are supposed to do what? To add, or time is gained with it, one hour. Okay, because we said for every 15 degrees, the earth makes a 10 at one hour. So when the earth is rotating toward the east, time is gained by one hour. Okay, this is what we mean. So this simply means if you are calculating time, okay. And this, the, the particular point is lying on, for instance, longitude maybe 30 degrees east. Okay, so since it's lying on east, it means that you are going to do what? To add. Okay, I hope you have gotten this point. So if you understand this point, then it will be very easy for you to understand for west. So here, for every 15 degrees uh, rotation of the, the earth, when we are going toward the west, time is what? Lost with by one hour, okay? So we are saying for every 15 degrees movement toward the what? The west. We are saying here, time is what? Lost, okay? By how many hours? Just one hour, okay? So what I'm saying is, if you are calculating time, okay? You are using maybe the longitude that is on west, we normally do what? Subtract. Okay, for instance, if it's 30 degrees west, so we're looking at this, the position, the west. So we normally subtract, okay? These are points that you must know when it comes to calculation of what? Time. Once you know these points, then it will be very easy for you to, to calculate what? Time difference, okay? Depending on the uh, location of the points. So we are going to see... Uh, we're going to work out certain examples. We see how best we can answer them. Okay, I hope you are following me. All right. So uh, let's look at these examples. Okay. So you have to understand what I've explained. Okay. You have to understand those points. They are very important because we use them when it comes to calculation of what time. So let's look at this example. Okay. The example is saying Alexandria is on longitude thirty degrees east. What is the local time in Alexandria if it is 06 hours GMT? Okay, so here remember what we said concerning the GMT. Okay, this is the universal timeline that we normally use when it comes to calculation of what 
time and we said when you move toward the east meaning you are going to to gain time with the uh, one hour if you move toward the west you lose time okay that is for every 15 degrees that the earth rotates so how can we answer this question okay so it's very easy we write solutions so here you have to take note of the longitude okay the longitude that alexandria is on it's what 30 degrees east that is the longitude okay so before we go we take note of the longitude we have to go back what did we say we said for every 15 degrees okay for every 15 degrees the earth rotates in how many hours in one hour i hope we understand this uh, principle okay when the earth is rotating at 15 degrees it's rotating in how many hours one hour and i've said what is the longitude for alexandria okay so here alexandria is lying on this longitude which is 30 degrees east okay so here where there are degrees this is an angle okay you put 30 degrees equal to now in this case you don't know at how many hours is the earth rotating in 30 degrees so i'm going to put any letter here to present how many hours the earth is rotating in that what degrees okay then you cross what multiply so 15 times x we are going to have 15x okay 15 times x we are going to have 15x i hope you are you are following okay so here we are going to have 15x so you write 15x equal to then here 30 times one hour we are going to have just 30 30 so we are interested in finding the value of x which is representing how many hours is the earth rotating at okay for every uh, 30 degrees of rotation so here we are going to divide by 15 even this side we divide by what 15 so we cancel this and that x equal to 15 into itself it's 1 into 30 it goes there many times 2 okay so here it means that uh, 2 hours that's our answer that we have found okay so that is 2 hours gmt okay so it means that alexandria okay is gaining two hours okay for every 30 when the earth is rotating at 30 degrees of rotation okay it's rotating at how many hours two hours gmt it's gaining why is it gaining because it's moving toward what east so here i've said it's gaining gaining okay which is very very easy for us then they said what is the local time as Alexandria if it is 06 what hours so now you find the local time there so they said 06 hours okay 06 hours 06 hours like this so we are going to do it to add okay we are going to add we say plus why are we adding because it's rotating toward the e the east side and I've said it's gaining there so if it's on east it's gaining gaining Suppose if it was only 30 degrees west, we wouldn't have added, we would have what? Subtracted. So, two hours there, okay? Two hours. We are adding here, like this. Okay. So, when we add, we are going to find that we'll get something like this. Six plus two, it's eight. Okay. So, it means the local time, say, the local time the local time at Alexandria is 0, 0,8 hours. Okay. So this is how we can find the time, which is very, very simple, okay? So we are going to look at another example. This is example one. We are going to look at another example. 
after that then i'll give you questions that you can try and work out at your own free time okay uh, so now we are on example two okay we're just from answering our first example now we're on example t two so in this example two Look at the model of the earth that we are given, okay? This model of the earth is having points or positions. We have A, B, and C. Okay, now what are the questions? The questions here, we have two questions, okay? There is question A and question B. So we are going to start with question A. Question A is saying, if it is 0, 8, 20 hours at point A. So at this point A, if the time is 0, 8, 20 hours, okay, what time is it at C? If here at A is 0, 8, 20 hours, now what is the time at what? At point C. I'm, I'm sure you are able to, to see these points. Point A here, if it's 0, 8, 20, what is the time at point what? C. Okay, so how can we find now the time at point C? So it's very important that we understand the, the F model the way it's been presented to us. Okay, so allow me to, to wrap this part so that we do the, the working from it. Okay, now we start. So here, they want us to find the time at point what? At point C. And they are saying at point A, the time is 0, 8, what? 20 hours what is the point what is the time at t? point c so you can see i'll do this i'll, I'll write a point a is lying on latitude stay uh degrees north okay then what is the longitude it's lying on the longitude this is the longitude yeah? it's lying on this meridian okay this is 20 degrees east okay then point c point c is lying on uh 20 degrees south okay the, the, this is the latitude then on what longitude 20 degrees east okay so the reason why i'm writing this i want you to take note of something then point b is lying on same latitude which is 20 degrees south and what is the longitude for point b this is the longitude which is uh 20 okay i'll come back to point c yeah c here this is the longitude where point c is lying okay sorry for that which is 95 degrees east this one okay then point B is lying on this longitude, 20 degrees east. Okay. So when you look at these two points, okay, for A, don't pay much attention to it, okay, for this A. Why? Because we are being given the time at point what? A. Now, they want you to find the time at point what? C. So in order for you to find the time at point C, we are just considering this point B and C. Why? Because from the center here, okay, from this center here, you can see that it's making an angular distance between point what? B and D, C. Now, when I say angular distance, we are just going to consider the difference, okay, in what? The longitude and D, the latitude. Now, in this case, you can see we have same latitudes, then we have different what? Longitudes. So what you normally start with, you're going to find the angular, you're going to find the angular distance between between B and what? C. Okay? So the angular distance between B and C are going to say 95 degrees minus 20 degrees okay 95 degrees minus 20 degrees and when you find the difference between 95 and 20 you are going to get something like this 
75 degrees, okay? So that is the angular distance between point B and what? C. So, let's now understand. We understand that uh, we have gotten this value, which is 95, okay? We have gotten 95. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So allow me to, to rub here. All right, there. So what are we going to do? Remember what we said? We said for every one hour, the earth is rotating at an angle of what? 15 degrees, okay? Then, uh, what are we going to say here? We have, got, we have gotten this angular distance between B and what? C. So we don't know at for, for how many hours is the earth rotating at this point, okay? So where there is hours we are going to indicate uh, x, we say equal to 75 degrees. Then here, you close what? Multiply. So x times 15. We are going to get 15x equal to 75. Because 1 times 75, you get 75. So from here, we divide by x. You also divide by, sorry, we divide by 15. You also divide by what? Uh, 15 there. I hope you are following me nicely. You are following me nicely. So from here, we do this. I rub this part. Okay. So here, this and this will cancel. X is equal to... Okay. So um, uh, 15 into itself, it's 1. Into 75, it goes there many times. 5 okay so it means we are looking we, are, we wanted to find out how many hours the earth was rotating for every 75 uh, degrees of rotation okay it was rotating at 5 what hours okay now these 5 hours that is just uh, the time at which point c okay point c is gaining time okay why is it gaining because it's lying on what the east side. So what is now the time at point C? So in order for you to find the time at point C, at point A, they said the time is what? 0, 80, 20. At point A, the time was 0, 80, 20 hours. Okay? So now, for you to find the time at point C, you are going to add these five hours that you got. Okay? You are going to add, which is 0, 5 hours. Okay, then plus, if there's someone who's wondering, why are we adding, okay? We are looking at uh, the position here, sorry. We are looking at this, uh, sorry, this position, the longitude. It's lying on what? The east side. So I said if you are, if the earth is rotating to the east side of the, the meridian, then it's gaining, ta it's gaining time. In short, we are adding, that's why we are adding here. So... You get 0, 2, 0 plus 0, 0, 2 plus 0, 2, okay? And then you'll say 8 plus 5, okay? You're going to get what? 13, okay? So it means the local time at C is what? 13, 20 hours. So you just make a statement. You just make a statement. You say, therefore... Therefore, the time at C will be 13, 20 hours. So, this is the answer, okay? So, it's very easy to find the time at a given point. Make sure you have to take note of the angular distance, okay? It's very, very important. So, this is question A. Okay, now we have question B, which is here. So I'm going to answer it as well. Then I give you, I leave work with you. You try to see how best you can answer it. Okay, okay so uh, we are done answering question A. We are now look, uh, answering question what? B, okay? So this question B, okay, before we proceed, I said the time here was 0, 8, 20 hours. And here we found that the time at C you found it to be what? 1320 
hours. Very important to take note of that. Okay, so now we come to question B. A plane flies from A to B, okay? We have, uh, this is point A. So we have a plane that is flying from this point then to this point, from A to B, at a speed of what? 400 knots. How long does the journey take if A, B, if A, B, is equal to this so here they are telling you that the distance from a to b is equal to 4800 newton miles okay then the speed you are given the speed is this so it's very easy for you to find how long so if they ask how long how long okay it means they are talking about what time if they ask how far it means they are talking about what distance okay take note of those two differences so here the question is how long does the journey take if a b is equal to this so from a to b the distance is 4800 nautical miles okay so how long we understand that it's time so i'm just going to use the normal formula which is speed is equal to distance over time okay so what is our speed in equation in the question, the speed is this, which is 400. So where the speed, you put 400 equal to. What is the distance? The distance between point A and B is 4,800, okay? So you write 4,800 over. What is time? It's the one that you are finding. So you just write T, okay? So this is a fraction. This is not a fraction. We're going to divide by 1, then we close what? Multiply, meaning 400 times t, we're going to have 400 t equal to 1 times 4,800, you're going to get the same value, which is 4,800. So we're interested in finding the value of t. So it means to the left-hand side here, we must only remain with what? t. So I'm going to divide both sides of the um both sides of the equation with 400 even here 400 so that i remain with a t on the left hand side so this 400 and this 100 you can so get a one okay one over one it's one so uh one times uh this t only men with a t equal to you have seen these two zeros you can cancel okay like that then 4 into 4, it's a 1. 4, here yeah, it's a 1. 4 into 8, it's a 2. So, your time is what? 12 hours. Okay, as simple as that. So, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for viewing this content. Don't forget to subscribe if you're watching us on Facebook. Sorry, on YouTube. If you're watching us on Facebook, don't forget to to share the page and invite your friends so that they can also uh, enjoy the content that you are posting. So don't forget, I said I'm going to write a question for you that you can try to answer, okay, during your own free time. Where you are behind, you pause the video, you go back, you check, then you, you see how best you can work it out. If you find that you're having challenges, you're not clear on a certain point, you can comment, okay, and you'll be able to respond to the comments. Thank you so much.